Hey, what's good viewer? This is Spanky. Today I've got the Pokemon Kyogre Trainer's Choice by Tomi Takara. Very, very nice figure. I do recommend the Trainer's Choice figures because generally they're a lot nicer than the regular Tomi Takara figures. They just are larger and they have a better mold and everything, better paint apps. So definitely try to find these at your local Walmart. It's the only place I've been able to find. I'm sure you could probably find them on Amazon. If they were a did I say Walmart? I meant Toys R Us. Toys R Us. Find them at your local Toys R Us. You probably could find them at Walmart, um, as I was about to say, because if it was a Toys R Us exclusive, it would probably have a silver emblem here that said Toys R Us exclusive, so that's leading me to believe that you'll be able to find it at other shops. Other than that, let's open it up. So here's Kyogre out of package. I really like his design overall. He looks great. The paint came out really well. I like his eyes there and everything. Take a look at his belly. Everything is very, very accurate. And while I'm down here, again, I would just like to thank Tommy Takara for hiding the product code and the Nintendo symbol down here and all that made in China crap. It's all in the bottom where you can't see it. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I enjoy these trainer series is because they hide these codes and these product placements, whatever you want to call them. While as in other figures, they'll put them blatantly, like right here. Like right on his head even. I mean, it's just crazy how blatantly sometimes then they're really big. They put him in the past, but here they're hiding it really well. So thank you for doing that, Tomi Takara. It, you know, not distracting from the figure is great. Thank you very much. I shouldn't have to thank you for that. Anyways, articulation. This is a touchy subject for me. Maybe it's not touchy, but it's an annoying subject for me because I don't feel like these figures should have articulation. I guess I shouldn't say figures, but some of them, like this Kyogre, should not have articulation. Because I feel as if he was meant for a static pose. Uh, you can't, if you put him like that, maybe the front ones, he can do a few things. Uh, but these back ones, it just doesn't look right, pose. I mean, I don't know why they articulate. I feel as if it would have been better if they gave us a solid mold with a really nice pose instead of articulation and a really crappy pose. I hope my point is getting through on that. Uh, like just like old Tommy's car figures, I feel they could probably make a better pose rather than you know trying to give us the option when there's really no point in the articulation of this figure. It just doesn't really serve much purpose, uh, and it doesn't look right articulated. I mean that just that looks okay, but I mean like these you can't really articulate. And hopefully my point is getting across, but let's just drop it for right now. All the figures come, these little cards here, it tells you their weight, height, and uh, in meters and kegs and pounds of feet is also as well. I mean, he is a water type Pokemon. It says their type. It says their name in different languages and what region they're from. Uh, and while we're talking about height and weight, these are definitely not to scale. As you can see here, he's 11 feet tall. He's 14 feet tall. I just did a review on it, and I'll explain it because I don't have the figure next to me, other figures next to me, but they're not to scale. If you got another Tomi Takara Pikachu, he'd be like half the size of this Kyogre, which, you know, Pikachu is like three feet tall max, and this guy is 14 feet tall. So they're not to scale. Also not to scale with the D-Arts Pokemon at all either. Um, they're not really to scale with anything, to be honest. Tomi, Car Tomi Takara does not do to scale Pokemon figures. But it is bigger than most figures that you're going to get. I believe they're calling it Legendary Scale. Don't quote me, but they are much bigger than any of their figures that they've created, including the Mega figures. They're supposed to be bigger than those. So anyways, check out my other reviews. I did all of the Legendary figures. Uh, they came in those little single packs. I did them all like, uh, I've already mentioned Groudon and Lugia. I think that's all they made. Oh, and uh, what's the little snake dude looking? Rayquaza. I did him as well. So check those out. I really do appreciate it. Uh, until next time, guys, peace out.